I see Astro AdLibs, Astro Lead Vocal. Off top, Travis Scott. What's good, YouTube? It's your best guy Jordan. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the MetaTune plugin from Slate Digital. This is Slate Digital's on auto pitch correction. You can use this in real time. You can mix with it. Just have fun with this plugin. So I'm going to show you how to use it. And then we're going to see what it sounds like. This is the MetaTune plugin. It's so beautiful. I love the black. I love the purple. I love the aesthetic. It just looks cool to me, right? I'm on record saying that. This plugin is very easy to use, very easy to set. So let's go through some of the key functions on here and then we're going to record. So what you need to understand over here to the right, we have speed. This is the speed setting for the MetaTune plugin, right? All the way up to zero, it will activate it, all right? And then it has a cheat code, right? We can drive it up really dial the effect in and have it going crazy because it goes past zero so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna bring this down and then we have the correction amount right here so this is how much of the correction that you need on the vocals you can adjust that accordingly and as you see as i move the correction you see this little nebula thing um it moves right <laughs> so we can literally just do this like this and we can do that here we can do it over here and same thing goes for the speed so we can sit here and just click this in and just drive that in. Like, I like that little function right there. I don't know if people on YouTube are going to point this out, but you can do this right here. And you control that from here. <laughs> All right. And sustain is like the vibrato control because um, it changes depending on, like, the note length. So if you hold notes longer, it's going to, like, affect the speed of that, right? So, and you see every time I move it, it's going to, like, this going to show up. So... You know, so that's sustain. And another thing that you want to be aware of, you want to make sure it's in low latency mode when you record with it. Make sure it's there because if it's not, it's going to lag and you're not going to like recording with the plugin live. So another function that you see right here in the middle is like we have this L shaped line right here. Doubler, and we have doubler width. This is the wet and dry signal. So like we go up, it's wet. All right. So the doubler effect is on. We can bring it down, we can go over, and as you see on here, like everything we do affects it, and you can see where it's at. So let's say if we did like some dubs, underlying dubs, and we just wanna kinda do like a little chorus effect on that, we can literally just slide this up, and it's very simple, right? And you can probably knock yourself out with some Travis Scott type vocal effects with this, okay? So that is the doubler. That kinda what makes this plugin stand out because they have a doubler right here and you can do some like crazy interesting effects with that right and another thing down here at the bottom it says hover to set scale right this is so easy to set because you can set the key and the scale very simple all right the beat i'm using today is e major so it's easy for me to set that i can set it over here in the sharps i can go to the flats because e major is still going to be here because all i do is hit e i'm already in the major scale if i had a minor scale i can go minor right but the beat is in E major. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, but E major has a relative to this. But listen, my beat is in E major, and that's what I want to record in. You know what I'm saying? Going through music theory classes and stuff in school, I understand music theory. So I'm just going to record in E major because that's what the beat in. So now we can go to pentatonic if we wanted to, if we had it, right? We can use harmonic if we had to, right? But E major, that's the key. That's the scale. All right, before I go over here and record with it, you see these functions over here, one, two, three, and four. We gotta click this. And now that's gonna explain because we have presets and we have groups when it comes to MetaTone. And the thing about the groups is, let's say we have multiple hook tracks and we want those to be controlled by one MetaTone plugin. We can literally select those audio tracks and drag them down to groups, all right? And they will show up here. So this will be group two and we can control these functions depending on what group we have selected that's very cool but if we don't want no groups we just bring it back up to the top and we have no groups and then you see over here to the left we have presets everybody loves presets this plugin has presets you can create your own preset here save it you can do a new folder you see i have a folder down here at the bottom but listen we have a hip hop folder. We have a couple of these. We're going to check these out shortly. Um, Popping electric, um, natural tuning. All right. That's probably going to be interesting. That's for the people that probably don't use a lot. And then we have signature. I see Astro AdLibs, Astro Lead Vocal. Off top, Travis Scott. 
Travis Scott out top. Believe that might be Justin Bieber. Heartbreak might be like a Chris Brown or Justin Bieber. Maybe a Juice World. I don't know. Kit Leroy. But Tallahassee, definitely T-Pain. Um, that's definitely what they're going for with the T-Pain. And then I made a set of presets in here that I was kind of liking. So I'm going to get those away so you can download those for free. So that's pretty much the metal tune plugin and another thing you want to make sure you have keep my scale selected because most of these presets were not made to um in one key right there was made in multiple keys and only thing that keeps the effects and stuff the scale and stuff correct is keep my scale so make sure you keep my scale that was genius i like they added this that's dope so now let's record with it I'm so tired of singing the songs. I'm so tired, tired of singing the songs. I'm so tired. Ooh. <laughs> okay. okay. Nice. Uh, let's click supercharge. Let's see. I'm so tired. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired of the games you play. I'm so tired. Okay. I'm so tired of singing love songs. I'm so tired. Tired of singing love songs. I'm so tired. tune plugin right there it looks good sounds good you know what i'm saying adjust the settings according to how you need it right it's a lot of presets in there to get you started you might stumble upon something that works good for you just start the preset if the preset don't work adjust the speed adjust the correction adjust the sustain see what works for you play around with the doubler to find what works for you all right slate digital you did good i like the metal tune plugin but listen make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel it's your boy sky jordan I'm out of here, right, cool. <laughs>